Bonjour! Welcome in my world, welcome in my kitchen. I had an idea about um, actually teaching you how to make crepes because a lot of you guys out there love crepes and think this is very complicated and actually it's not so I'm gonna show you that it's not and you will be able to make crepes by yourself, for yourself and make everybody happy around you. So basically what you need is a... we're gonna just go and do it together. We, you need some flour, you need eggs, you need salt, you need milk, a bit of olive oil and you're set. That's all you need. And a little bit of TLC of course, so we're gonna be working on that. Okay, all you do is... I've measured like one cup of flour before we started all this. And the flour, I've been using the organic whole wheat flour. And uh, basically you can use any flour you want, the white stuff, you can use spell flour, kamut flour is awesome, and you can even, for the people that have uh, gluten uh, allergy, you can use rice flour, just as easy as uh, the wheat stuff. Anyways, I've got some flour happening here, a bit of salt, I'd say, ah, quite a cup. Do -do -do. What else do I need in here? Okay, so about the milk. I have decided this morning to use hemp seed milk and so that's a non-dairy uh, option. You can use cow milk, no problem. I do love to use non-dairy stuff and you have many options. You have soy milk, almond milk, millet milk, spelt milk, uh, rice milk and uh, yeah, so many milks to choose from and I have decided to work with a hemp one this morning. So usually I do this intuitively but for the sake of this, I thought, well, let's measure a bit. So there you go, one cup of milk. Well, as a starter, let's do it one cup at a time. So all I do is to slowly pour the milk in the flour, just like this. Can you see anything? Okay, so just don't get freaked out by the lumps. You know, it's obviously very thick still. So what I'll do is I'll add a other half a cup, see how that goes. But like I said, I usually do it randomly. Okay, so as you see, I do the milk first with the flour, which might be unusual to some of you. But I just want to make sure I work the lumps out of the way. See? It's kind of difficult to actually see because it's a whole wheat flour. But then we'll see what it does in the pan. Okay, time to put some eggs in there. So make sure, okay, I'm talking organic here, right? I probably haven't mentioned anything about that. This is organic flour, organic hemp meat, uh, milk, and please, free range eggs. They're much, much better for your health. Okay. I do like one at a time, one egg at a time. Doo -doo -doo. See how easy it is? There goes the second one. I do it this way so that in case you get some of the egg stuff in there, you can take it out. It's easier. Come ça. Hey. We're just missing one more ingredient. Okay, this one I'm not gonna measure. Choo -choo -choo. Bit of olive oil. Et voila! So, some people put butter in their butter. I don't. I'm not a big fan of butter. And you can actually use other oils like canola oil or eh, whatever oil you feel like. Et voila! It's done! You've got a crepe batter. How easy was that? So, the only thing you have to still do is to um, let it sit a little bit. Okay? So, maybe, you know, half an hour. So I'll just see you then. Welcome back! Okay, time to cook the crepes. Basically you need a pan, good pan. Get the best pan you can find in your kitchen. So um, put it on the stove. I'm not too sure about the stove depending on how hot. Like, Basically you do a trial crepe, one that nobody gets to eat. So that, that's the crepe that you're gonna be sort of checking your stove with the sacrificial grape. So anyways, my pan is here, like a teeny bit of oil, it won't hurt, come on. So there you go, Doo -doo -doo. 
if, if it feels too much for you, just pour it back in the batter. Definitely won't hurt it. Okay, okay, and now it's just time to pour in. Oh, I've done something here. La la la, there you go, see? Kind of turning it around. And then you just let it sit there, nice and easy. Ready to flip it over. Mm. Voila. So I'm actually teaching you a basic crepe recipe. And uh, from this one you can make anything you want. Sweet stuff, savory stuff, chocolate, ham, um, chocolate, ham, eggs, tomato sauce, honey, whatever you feel like. You've got the ba basic stuff and uh, you just Play with it. I can actually turn the stove up a little bit. So at this point, you're trying to figure out the right temperature. And now, and now it's time to flip it over. Yay! There you go. It smells so good. I love these crepes. So it's actually working really well with that uh, hemp milk. I wasn't quite sure about that. I was experimenting this morning with you. Et voilà, you have a crepe. So you can actually put the chocolate right here if you want it to be melting away. Or put, you know, crack an egg in it and fold it. And now we have so many options. So I'm just gonna, oopsie, flip it over. Doesn't matter if it breaks a bit. Okay, what about chocolate? I love chocolate. I know some other people that love chocolate. So all you do is take some nice dark chocolate. Just get a bunch of pieces. You can try it out along the way. Just like this. You kind of just use like one side, okay? Then I thought about coconut. I love coconut. So sprinkle a bit of coconut. Voila. You kind of have a bit of time, you know, so that the crepe actually cooks on the other side. And how about some roasted almonds? It's actually much better to use them um, to kind of uh, toast almonds and uh, other seeds a, bit, a little bit beforehand. Brings the flavor out. Okay, see? Ooh, it's melting! There we go! Oh, this is gonna be so good. It is good chocolate. Okay, so I broke it a little bit. Doesn't matter. Don't, you know, get all fussy about it. Just bring it like this on the other side. Doesn't that look great? It smells good too. You wouldn't know, would you? Come ça, and you can even do like the little on the other side to make sure it cooks nice and easy. And you can cook it as much as you want. Some people like them kind of really cooked, some others, you know, just do whatever you feel like. Et voilà. Let's get fancy here. It just flips just like this. Na na na. Oh, that's hot. Et voilà. We have a crepe. Let's get in there. Choo -choo -choo. That's really good. Alright, I did it. Thank you. See you soon. Mm, it is good. Want to try?